We are back here at SEMA 2022. I am at the SSBC USA booth. I'm here with Tom. Can you go ahead and uh, go through a little bit about what this company is all about? Sure, Will. Thanks for the interview. Uh, SSBC USA is a company that was formed in 2019 uh, based on a brand that was around for about 44 years known as Stainless Steel Brakes Corp. SSBC brand was resurrected in early 20 and then we launched into the truck markets immediately after we founded the company. Our claim to fame is basically we are made in America. We are direct fit calipers for upgrades in all sorts of three-quarter, one-ton trucks, half-ton trucks, and now our newest product line, the F450s. Uh, we make most of our parts right in our own factory. And if they're not made in our own factory, they're made locally in Western New York, right outside of Buffalo. And if we can't get them locally, we buy them nationally. Only on rare occasions do we go out and buy parts that are not American made if they aren't available in the United States. I was looking over your sample table that's right over here. You actually have each individual phase of production and then finally the finished product right there. And it actually looks really good. Are you using the original tooling from the old company? Yeah, when we resurrected the brand, we acquired all of the capital equipment that was used to make the original calipers. We have uh, added a lot of uh, supplements to them so that we can manufacture on a more precise basis. We have a uh, higher volume demand now, so we've had to supplement that equipment, but uh, we churn out uh, a good number of calipers every day out of our factory just outside of Buffalo, New York. That's awesome. So you, you mentioned that was an OE upgrade. So you're taking off the stock caliper and you're upgrading the caliper with a set of four piston, six piston, eight piston, whatever it is. Do you ever plan to expand beyond that? Uh, certainly. So our premise is to take up what we think are underperforming OE calipers. We'll take the three quarter, one ton truck market, say an F250, 350, or a GMC Ram series 2500, 3500 series truck. They have two piston sliding calipers. And most owners will say that's just not enough. So we go and we take that to an eight piston, eight piston, four pistons on either side caliper. That's about two and a half times the size, the amount of force being applied to the pad. And then we use a much larger pad. We'll use a pad that's upwards of 200% the area of the original OEM pad. And then we put it into an aluminum non-rusting caliper. And we have all stainless steel accoutrements, stainless steel bleeders, stainless steel pad clips, and stainless steel sliders. So you're not gonna get a lot of the corrosion and rust that you see in a cast iron caliper. So the stopping power is about two to three times what you're offered in an OEM caliber. You seem to be talking a lot about trucks, but do you ever plan to expand a little bit beyond trucks? Yeah, we're going to we're gonna continue to do our uh, the, what the Legacy brand was based on, which was uh, drum-to-disc conversion kits and caliber upgrades for classic cars. Anything from the late 50s all the way up to the, the muscle 70s and muscle 80s. But we've also just released our new Jeep JKs and Jeep JL series. So uh, the Jeep people are just clamoring left and right for something better than the OEM. And we'll also be releasing in a very short period new Bronco calipers. These are really large calipers. How direct of a replacement are they? Uh, again, specifically for the trucks, it's, it's literally two bolts off to get the old caliper off and then it's two bolts on. No shims, no brackets, direct fit right to the knuckle or axle. And that is sp vehicle specific, meaning that there is specific calipers for 2500 series, 3500 series GMC, 2500, 3500 series Ram and the F250, 350 line. They are unique calipers for that model. That's why we don't have shims, brackets, or anything else. It literally takes about 10 minutes to change the caliper. And then all you have to do is two bolts off, two bolts on, connect the banjo bolt, and you're ready to go. I'm bleeding. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, you've got definitely got to bleed it. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> so Tom, you walked me over to the progression of how these calipers are actually made. So as you mentioned, first it starts out as a, blo as a block of 6061 aircraft quality aluminum. And then in our shop, it's a two-op operation through our machine shop. The first operation cuts out the bores, puts in the pressure grooves, our crossover tubes, and then mills out the brake pad pocket. And the second operation finishes the outside of the caliper. And you can see this is not polished, this is the actual machine marks. That's the precision that we have to make these things for in order for them to perform well for the future. Then next, we send it out to be anodized to harden all of the surfaces, specifically inside the bores and on the outside to be scratch resistant. And then lastly, for the outside half, we will powder coat them, have, again, to resist corrosion or of any kind, salt, and then makes them look really cool. 
Then this is our accoutrements or our products that go inside the caliper. These are stainless steel pistons made in our factory or just outside of Buffalo, New York out of 303 stainless. We have three bar feeder lays that churn these things out. We also have seals that are made 10 miles away from our plant in Clarence, New York. We make our own bleeders because we want stainless steel bleeders and we want high precision and you just can't get those from anybody other than us. Our pad clips are stainless so that they won't rust. And our slider pins, our hardware, is made in Connecticut by a company called Fastenal. And even our aluminum and our stainless materials are made in Indiana. So this caliper is 100% American made. Last thing we do is assemble it. We use grade eight bolts and then we engrave our brand and logo on it, SSPC USA. When they go to install it, it's a simple installation as we mentioned before. It's literally pop off the banjo bolt, pop off two bolts and remove the old caliper. Put it back together the same way, two bolts for mounting, no shims, no brackets. Attach the banjo bolt, bleed it thoroughly, and you're ready to go. Well, thank you very much, Tom. You've been very helpful. I've never heard of you guys until today, so I'm eager to see what you guys are up to in the near future. All right, thanks for taking the time, Ernesto. We look forward to working with you.